What's going on everybody, Jason here, and today I'm gonna to show you a really cool way to have a self-selling AI chatbot all built with Closebot and High Level. And basically the idea of this is that you can have a prospective client, a plumber, a roofer, a real estate agent, go through this demo, have the chatbot try to sell their service back to them, and at the end, it rolls over to a whole new bot that tries to book them on your calendar for your agency and all done without you having to do anything other than just show up for the Zoom call that they've booked after going through this demo. So the chatbot does all the work for them. And again, I use Closebot right now to build our chatbots. You can get a totally free account to try it out. Just go to ghl.pro slash Closebot. There'll be a link down below and that will bring you to a screen that looks like this and you can sign up for free. They do have, again, a free plan you can see right here a free user you get one bot so you can start playing around and actually trying this stuff so let me actually show you this self-selling demo in action we'll go through the entire demo you'll see how it books on a fake calendar and then on my actual real agency calendar and everything in between so let's get started all right so here we are inside of our high level dashboard and the way that this gets started is that a business owner would text the word demo to our account. This can also get fired off with them filling out a form, but I like to have them actually text the word demo to a phone number that we've registered with our account and that will start the chain of events where the chatbot will reach out to them and start interacting. So you can see I don't have any contacts in here right now. I'm gonna go ahead and send the initial message. So this can be if you're at like a, a meetup or something like that where people ask you what you do and you say, I sell AI chatbots to business owners that help them get more appointments for no ad spend. And they'll say, how does that work? And you say, oh, we'll just text demo to this number. And they text demo and they can go through it right there, right in front of you, which is really cool. So I've texted the word demo. If I refresh, now it's going to pull up me as a contact. Okay, you can see here is the new contact and uh, it's been tagged with bot one. So this works off of three different bots. It was it took a little bit of programming to set up, but Closebot helped a lot with that process, and it took me uh, just a little bit of time to get this working. But now it's something that can just basically operate as a thousand different salespeople without me having to interact with anyone. So I've blurred out my phone number here, but other than that, we're going to open this up and actually do the chat back and forth. Okay, so here we are inside of the chat. Obviously, I texted the word demo, so this would be a plumber or a concrete company or, or a real estate agent or whoever would text the word demo to your number. Then it replies, great, I'd love to help you set up your demo. May I have your name to get started? I know there's a little typo here that I can correct, but um, that is not the AI did that. I just made a little mistake there that I'll fix. So I'm going to respond and say, may I have your name? I'm going to do Jason and it will pop up here. And then what I want you to notice is I type the word Jason. I don't have a name filled out in my CRM yet. If I refresh this, that name will now be populated. Okay, so it said, thanks Jason, what industry is your business in? This will help us tailor the demo to your needs. And then it has filled in my name, Jason here. So I'm gonna say for this example, I'm gonna do concrete. And now basically it's just gathering a little bit of information. And then it's gonna switch over to bot number two where it actually tries to sell concrete to me. That's a solid industry. Uh, could you please tell me the name of your business? This will help customize your demo. So I'll do Katie Concrete. And if you've seen any of our previous videos, this is actually one of the um, rank and rent websites that we've built is for a site called Katie Concrete. And so this AI chat has actually booked some clients for us. So Katie Concrete, now it's going to switch over to bot number two where it tries to sell concrete to me. Perfect, Katie Concrete will be a great fit for our AI assistant. Demo is starting. We will reach out, and you can see it misspelled reach out to you in a few seconds to begin, and then it had a little asterisk reach. So that adds a little bit of a human component to it. If you don't want that, you can totally turn it off where it will have perfect grammar and typing every single time, but some people like to turn this on, so I wanted to turn that feature on for you as well. Then it is now rolled over to bot number two. It says, hi, this is Jessica with Katie Concrete. How can we help you today? So I'll say, uh, this is an actual case that we, uh, actual client that we had. Uh, I need a 400 square feet slab poured. So it already now is going to switch over to this concrete bot. It has general knowledge about the concrete industry, but obviously this is just a generic demo with two questions that it asked. Should we actually get a concrete company that wants our service? We'll really dial this in to exactly what their hours are, what services they offer, what times of day they work, uh, what areas they cover, all that stuff. So great, are you looking for a standard finish or something more customized for your 400 square foot slab? Uh, standard. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go through and it should ask one or two more questions and then it will try to book me on a calendar. If your particular business owner that you're dealing with say says that we only work with people that wanna talk on the phone right now, you can program your bot to do that. But this is just to cover any type of person that I would meet out in the world. If I'm at a meeting or just even at a, a restaurant or something and just get in conversation with somebody. Perfect, could you please provide me with the location where you need the slab poured? This will help with us scheduling and planning. So I'll just do one, two, three, any street in Katy. This information isn't crucial, but obviously if this was a real client, then we would actually get the real information. And if the person said, why do you need that or whatever, it would know how to respond. But we're just kind of going through this with somebody who really genu genuinely wants information. Not gonna give it too hard of a time here. Thank you for the information. What is your timeline to get started? I'll just do ASAP. Then what it should do next is try to book me on a calendar, set up a time, get my email and all that stuff. It already has my phone number because I've been texting with it. Okay, got it to provide a detailed quote and further assistance. Could you please share your email address with us? I'll say jason at retv.co. And then what you'll notice again, how it filled in my name over here, the email is blank. So if we wait, just about 10 or 15 seconds and refresh this, it should fill in my email address here too. Boom, so it's filled in the email address here. So this conversationally fills in forms as well, which is really cool, because then you don't have to manually go and do all of this stuff. Now its goal is to book me on uh, a 15 minute phone appointment. How does tomorrow at 8.30 sound? Um, I'll say how about 9.30, just to see how it handles something like that. When you're doing this and you have the demo calendar set up, you just want to have as many available times as possible just so you don't have any issues here. If you're going to have like hundreds of people going through this demo at the same time, obviously, and it says our next availability is two weeks from now, you don't want the business owner saying, oh, I, why would it do something so far out? Oh, that time works perfectly. Shall we confirm 9.30 a.m. tomorrow for our phone appointment? Uh, yep. And again, this was only with two or three questions about the business, so it really could be dialed in even more specifically, but it already is handling things really well. It asked, you know, what type of, is it a standard or, um, uh, let's see, standard or something more customized, the area, the, the street, the timeline, the email address, all that stuff. So you can see I said, yep, to the 930. It automatically booked me on the calendar here. It says, great, we're all set for 930. Looking forward to speaking with you and discussing your project in detail. Awesome. So now what it's going to do is roll over to bot number three, which is actually where it tries to sell the particular concrete company on setting up a, a time on my calendar as the agency owner. So you can see it's kind of looking at different views here. The first one was gathering information. The second one was trying to get the bot to sell concrete back to the business owner. And then now that it's seen how all that works, now it's going to try to get them to schedule an appointment with me. So AI chat bot demo complete, pretty cool, huh? Would you like to schedule an actual time to get this set up for your business? I'll say, yeah. And then now it's going to look at my availability on my agency calendar and see when I can conveniently book an appointment with them. Awesome. So it says, great. Just to make sure, is jason at retv.co the best email to send details to? The reason I added that step is just because as they're going through that fake demo, if they, for some reason, put like john at abc.com or whatever, I wanted to make sure that they, they didn't... Um, the bot didn't assume that that was their email and start sending them notifications about our real appointment to a fake email address. But typically, that's they put in their same email address, so I'm just gonna do yeah. And then it should then ask me for a time of day that I can be on a phone appointment or a Zoom appointment, however you wanna do it. Okay, perfect, what time works best for you to chat? We have slots available today until 6.30 p.m. or would another day work better? Um, let's just do today at um, five. So boom, so it automatically booked me on the calendar, on my real calendar for 5 p.m. Then it says, all set for day at 5 p.m. You'll get a confirmation email shortly, looking forward to it. So you can see, boom, it has conversationally gone through a fake demo, basically showing the business owner how it can sell itself to them. So it sells whatever service they offer directly back to them. 
in a very basic way, but it just shows them the fundamentals of how this works. And then it rolls over to actually booking on my real calendar. So literally all I have to do is have people go through this demo. Either I run ads to this or I send emails out for this where people can go through at their leisure. It will work with any industry and it just basically works. There are occasionally a few glitches here and there, but to do this at scale where I don't have to literally pitch this over and over and over again, they've already experienced it, and then they're coming to me afterwards ready to get this implemented. It takes a lot of the work out of this. So I highly recommend checking out, not only using High Level because they have their own AI chat bot, but Explore Closebot as well. There'll be a link down below. Again, they have a totally free account that you can try for yourself. Uh, I think it's phenomenal, and the founder, Bryce, is doing an incredible job with updating it very regularly. And they have a whole new version coming out that is going to blow everything that's on the market out of the water. But right now, it already works the best that I've seen. So uh, I'm really excited to see what else they create. You can get started for a totally free account. Go to ghl.pro forward slash closebot. Again, link down below. Get a free account. Just play around with it. See if it's for you. And then talk to me back in the chat. Let me know what other questions you have about this. If you want to see how all this was set up kind of behind the scenes, we're talking a lot about it in the closebot group. So um, check that out as well. And other than that, I'll talk to you again on the next video. Thanks.